Maybe the hottest restaurant in Buenos Aires right now is called Proper. It's run by a bunch of hip young people in a converted garage. I'm not sure I'm cool enough for this place, but I'm hoping the plaid shirt helps me blend in. Hi, I'm Phil. Ask me. Ask me. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. You're from New Zealand. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a big open kitchen with a big open oven. Wow. Whoa, that's oven. hot. This is like a Mad Max oven. They make with my hands. You made the oven? Yeah, with this guy. They all work super hard. And look at this team. Look how into it they are. Look at Leo. He's at this oven, this really hot oven. I mean, this man is wet. That oven is so hot, Leo has to wear welding gloves. I'm going to stay over here where it's cooler, and Chef de Cuisine Sam can feed me. We're making a plate of celery salad, and that's mixed with the fermented cream. It's like yogurt. And then there's apple on top, and there's some pecans. If you tell me the ingredients of the salad, you're not excited, and then you eat it, no, and yeah, it's no, great. No, 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 no. Celery, yeah, what? Yeah, celery, Fermented yeah. what? Yeah, right. It's like a crazy laboratory here. I can't wait to see what they give me next. This is the calamar. They cook it only 30 seconds. And fermented beans alioli. Oh, that looks beautiful. Put in the, the top. Where's my fork? Yeah, this for, for no, no, no. That's not for me? Well, as long as someone's eating. I see somebody that needs bread. Hello. You see, there it is. Do you want some bread? Ah. <laughs> okay, enjoy it. <laughs> I'm the bread guy. Meaning I'm the guy who stands here like an idiot with only bread to eat. Finally, my shift pay. Calamar. The idea of the restaurant is that we change the menu as, as often as we can, but this plate has been on the menu since the day the restaurant opened. This is a great day. There's a funny story about these beans. We were trying things and we decided to put a lemon and to cook with the beans. And it turns out that if you put something acidic when you're cooking the beans, it makes all the skin of the beans really hard. Oh. And we thought we had two kilos of beans cooked. And what are we going to do with these? Because we're like, what is if we put them in the oven to fry? And we did it, and the skin goes crispy and amazing. Oh. The olives are salty, the raisins are sweet, the vinegar is acid, the beans are crunchy. More dishes for other people. That one's not yours, eh? What? Come yeah. here. What's he making there? A big pork chop, the pork loin. It's like three pounds of bacon on a bone. What are you putting on there? Mustard, to make ourselves. Peanut? With curry spice, and then just fresh herbs. Yes. Really good, really, yes. really good. Of course. Your one's Melvin. Yes, he remembers the title of the show. Are we filming in slow motion? <laughs> well, then I'll do this. Boom. You're <laughs> burrata. Oh, it's crispy, I love it. <laughs> Woo. Like I made it. Go ahead. Mm. Happy? That's pretty good. Huh? That's pretty good, yes. Yeah. You should eat here more often. I should, no? <laughs> I was going to have one bite. I lied. Eat the skin. It's very crispy. Okay. Say. Say room for a plan. The eh? plan, huh? The best plan in the song. I thought I had enough dulce de leche. But then they said, have you tried the flan here? It's the best flan in the world. I have not been to one meal where I did not have to visit the village. Well, you're going to have it again. Then. OK. How excited are you going to get about flan? When you said you're going to have the best flan you ever had, I said, all right, keep your pants on. <laughs> Take your pants off. <laughs> Every single thing I had was amazing and really creative and really inventive. There's hope for the world. In fact, flan for everyone. Everyone in the place gets a flan.